So, in that isolation project, I had issues with some tasks at the planning, and now I want to see the influence on costs. And this is due to effort-driven tasks and non-effort-driven tasks, and does it have an influence on the cost? I am Kristen from Vision 6D, and we are going to look into this. We are here in our project, where in the renovation of the house, I have a part here which is wall isolation. That's good. It's uh, good for nature, so let's do it. So I have here two tasks. One is the first set, wall isolation one, wall isolation two. In the previous video, we looked the influence of effort-driven, non-effort-driven tasks. And now I'm going to look at the costs. For this, I need here to add a column, which is the cost. So for the moment, everything is to zero. And I also need with you to go into the resource sheet and to make sure that all the resources have a rate, an hour rate. I made it really simple. I made 100 for everyone. I know that for some it's a bit low, for some it's a bit high, but it's easier for this example. So, back to the Gantt chart now. I will start here with wall isolation 2. And I'm going here to come and first to say, of course, that there were 80 hours. This was planned as 80 hours and I'm going to assign here this to worker 1 and we'll see what happens. So 80 hours at 100 rate per hour, it makes 8000, we have it here really well expressed. This is absolutely correct. So if you remember, we said that this is going to last during two weeks and I wanted to shorten this down to one week so I added here another worker. So I have worker 2, which is added here. And you see that the total work is still 80 hours. During five days, I have two workers and the cost didn't change. It's 8,000. To remember, this task here, when we go into advanced, we, we see that it is effort driven which means that every time that we add a resource, it's not the amount of work that is reduced, but it's the duration. If I have a certain task for two people and I add, if I have a certain task for one people, if I have a certain task for one person and I add a second person, it will shorten it in two. With this, I'm going to look at wall isolation number one. Again, the same, 80 hours. We assign it to worker number three. We see that it's exactly the same. 80 hours for worker number three will last two weeks. And in all, it's 10 days. So again here, I'm going to add worker 4 in order to shorten it in 2 and we'll look what happens. And we see here, first of all, nothing was shortened and we see here that the 160 hours are now the double of the 80 hours. And this is due to the fact that this task isn't defined as effort driven, you see, this is the default, how MS Project is doing it. So this will bring us the cost of those 10 days of work to double to 16,000. So you see the same thing, but just that we forgot to click the right thing to express what we really want. We have here 8,000 more than what we expected. For the moment, I'm going to leave this as such. Now we have here a meeting, so it's Anna that called in the meeting and the meeting will last four hours. 
So, it's a working meeting that was organized by Anna, and we see here that Anna is coming to the meeting, and it's four hours, so 400 is the cost of those four hours. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add Jake to the meeting. So Jake is also there and you see that the work has increased. The duration is still the same. It's a working morning, for example. And here it's just telling us that it has increased the amount of work, which is really what we want. We have more people in a meeting but the same duration. The total work has increased. And we see that now from 400 it went up to 800. So what is going to happen if I add also Julie? I think no big deal with this. It increased to 12 hours and now we have 1200. And if now I go down and I, la I add the last person, which is Paul, no big surprise, the total work are 16 hours still in the duration of those four hours and we see that the cost has really raised up to 1600 so we must pay attention with the meeting by the way you see here that the costs are raising quickly so i say here increase the amount of work it's really what we want so this is a different behavior with the cost and this is the default behavior and it corresponds really well. I'm just going to check again to make you see that the meeting here is really defined with no effort driven. The checkbox isn't marked. This is the correct way to do this. So now back to the analysis we had here where it was for 80 hours again and this was done by the project manager. So the project manager is here. So I say, we see he will work for two weeks during 10 days. So in all, it's 80 hours. 80 hours time 100 per hour. It's 8,000, which is absolutely correct. So now we said that this analysis is quite complex and the project manager needs to do it with the designer during that interval of 10 days. So the designer is also going to work 10 days. So we see that all in all, from 80 hours it went up to 160, still over the same 10 days, but the cost has jumped from 8,000 to 16,000. So the cost of the total project is 41,600, but it's not really the right price because wall isolation one is counted as 160 hours, although it should be just 80 hours. So I'm going into the task here, advanced, and I'm going to say that it is effort driven. And you see, although I've done that correction, here MS Project is not changing this by itself. So I have to do the correction by hand here. To put it to 80 hours and here you see that MS project has changed it down to five days so here I have to say decrease the duration yes we agree with this so from here you see that from 16,000 that were the costs of this task it is now down to 8,000 with that, we have a project which is more down to the real price, which is 33,600. With that, you've seen that you must be really cautious with that kind of uh, task, effort-driven or not effort-driven. It has an influence on the, the costs. So I'm glad I could show you this, maybe avoid you some difficult issues as I had. So what is left to me is to wish you a really good time like the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel do it now and share it with your friend for me it's a pleasure to meet you again in the next video see you soon bye bye <laughs>